And we want to take our people back to what it felt like in 1994 for Nigeria to win the trophy for the second time. Uh, the distance between 1980 and 1994 was quite a long time. So maybe the millennials may not know what it felt like in 1980, but they can still relate with 1994. So can you tell us what it felt like? The last game, it was Emmanuel Amunike that scored both goals for Nigeria. What was the moment like for you? Can you just recreate the feeling that you had on that day? Well, I think the last game, uh, getting to the final, there was so excitement and uh, uh, so the readiness from the team. I think uh, the team, uh, one of the, the strongest points of that team was that uh, we were blessed with a lot of uh, talented players individually. And uh, uh, what matter is uh, uh, how collectively can we all play to you know to achieve the common goal, which is uh, winning the Afcon in '94. So there was so much uh, confidence, but uh, that confidence we never allowed it, you know, uh, to become a kind of uh, you know uh, complex to the team. Uh, we we knew we have good players, and uh, whomever that is playing, we all believe that. Uh, uh, the person deserves to play because when you look at the caliber of the players in that team, everyone's supposed to play. But unfortunately, everybody cannot play. So I think that was my first game. Uh, actually, uh, not playing any game to the final. I wasn't much expecting if I'm going to play. But you know, when the opportunity came, uh, I just need to you know embrace it and then add value to the team in terms of what other players you know that have played have contributed to the team so but i think it's all about you know being realistic also and uh, not allowing the uh, the moment in terms of uh, you not being playing you expected to be featuring in odd game uh, you, now you find yourself not being playing of course there is uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, personal uh, how will I put it? Personal frustration. But the good thing is that we were focused. We were working very hard. I remember those of us that are, that are not playing, you know, uh, we have to train more uh, than those that uh, played. And I think that afforded us to be in the same, you know, physical uh, position to be able to compete when the opportunity, you know, uh, came. Okay. I I've gone in those days was glorious. It was something people look forward to. In fact, the old nation was a standstill. Because everybody gathered around their TV, seeing Nigerian players wear the jersey come out to play for the green and white. But these days, you see people just walk away. They talk about Afcon, they're, they're like, I beg, what has changed? What do you think is the problem? Is it that Afcon is no longer acceptable, no longer entertaining as it used to be then? I know. Afcon, you know, Afcon is, <laughs> is one of the prestigious uh, tournaments that, uh, that ever occurred in the African continent every two years. And uh, every player that are from African continent will love to be, you know, will love to be part of AFCON. Uh, not every player have that privilege to play, but those that, uh, you know, uh, have the opportunity to play, it's a welcome development. And it's not that people lost interest, you see. The fans also, you have to accord them that respect. Uh, they've been there for the team and they'll be supporting the team. I think it's also for the uh, for the team, you know, uh, to do a holistic and forensic uh, analysis. Uh, why is your fans suddenly, you know, not finding it interesting? Uh, I think it's something we need to look into as a nation. Yeah, the Nigerian uh, fans, you know, uh, they are one of the best fans that can support their team from the beginning to the end. Uh, Nigerian fans is one of the fans that understand that even if the team lose a game, but the effort of the players, they appreciate a lot. So I think we need to go back and then bring back this, uh, you know, this, uh, how do I put it, this synergy uh, between the fans and the uh, and uh, and the players and uh, and the team. I mean, also, I think it's very very important. Uh, you can say why people go away. You can question people, but you also have to, you know, uh, make a deep analysis and find out uh, what suddenly made uh, mostly Nigerian fans they not became much interested when it comes to the national team. But of course, such a thing can be rebuilt and such a thing can be brought back. It's a question of I think. 
first of all, it's a question of being open and uh, transparent to the fans. Because at the end of the day, uh, these people, you know, they spend their own money, they travel, they come to the stadium, uh, they cheer their team up. I think they deserve also, I think, happiness. In my own way of reasoning, they deserve happiness. And even when things doesn't work, the way we all expected, but at least that commitment, that desire, that you know, fighting spirit, that desire to win. When you see a team, you know, demonstrated that even when you lost, you still appreciate the team. Mm, you have mentioned commitment, patriotism, fighting spirit. Some people have said that because we don't have plenty homegrown players, because we have more invited foreign players, they really don't know what it feels like the Niger spirit to fight and wear that green and white. The crop of players we have now, some people say that they just see it as, uh, okay, let's just come play and go. There's no patriotism, that zeal to play for Nigeria, to know what it means. Do you think this is true? And what is your take on homegrown players in our national team? Well, I think, uh, you know, like everybody has a right to, to air his own opinion or her opinion. And uh, you have to listen to people, you have to respect their opinion. But I also think uh, it's a question of uh, you know finding balance. Uh, the uh, football has involved a lot, and uh, if we have players, you know, uh, that were born in Europe and they are Nigerians and they have our passport and uh, they can add value to our football, I think it's a welcome development. Uh, when you in your house, you don't expect outsiders to come into your house and then know what is in your house. It's you that wish, you know, let the outsiders to know uh, what is in your house. So I think the players, yeah, it is true, most of them, they were, you know, developed in Europe. Uh, probably they don't have that our mentality in times of, you know, their home brought, in times of their growth in Nigeria. But uh, that shouldn't take away that, uh, they, they, because they don't, uh, you know, uh, they don't, they were not born in Nigeria, no, that, no, no, no. We have to find a balance. Uh, the people playing in Nigeria, we have to give them the uh, the hope that uh, yeah they are part of uh, the project because national team is a project. I don't know how people look at it. It's a project. It's a national project. It's a project that involves everybody. It's a project that needs to be inclusive. Both those playing in Nigeria, both those playing in abroad. But what what, what define you as a national team is. Is finding that balance between the foreign players and the local play, uh, players, where everybody you know can be on the same page, where everybody can you know can contribute. Uh, the players playing in Nigeria, football has involved a lot. Uh, we might continue to you know create the debate. Uh, no, no, they are, they, don't, they are not up to the standard. But I always ask one thing: <laughs> there is no man that is short of knowledge. When you when you take people and you begin to you know place them. Uh, and begin to train them with time, they will catch up. Uh, yeah, they might not be on the same level, but if we create a standard, create a platform, create a equality in the national team, we are the home players. Uh, they know that for you to make it into the national team, you have to work very hard at your own little capacity. Where the players playing abroad need to realize also for to play for the national team, you know, they have to maintain the standard. So uh, then you can start to say, okay, but when you come to the, because these players are from abroad, these players are from home, then I think, you know, we begin to create, a, <laughs> we begin to create a division and that we begin to do segregation, which is, for me, uh, is not interested to our own, you know, development. It's not interested to our football. We have to make the best of uh, what we have, but we also, you know, need to be in a position to prepare and uh, develop our people. AFCON 2023 is here. We have seen the list of players representing Nigeria. What is your expectation? From this team that you have seen, what are you expecting? Are we going to see fine football? Are we going to see Nigeria flying high? Well, a miracle. I don't, I don't say talk about miracle. Uh, well, I think uh, uh, in football terminologies, uh, we, are, we footballers and coaches, we analyze things differently. Uh, what I expect Nigeria is to prepare themselves. Uh, to be ready to compete. I think that is the key word. Uh, if, you, if you prepare yourself from all aspects, from tactical point of view uh, to technical point of view, psychological point of view, 
to individual point of view, to collective point of view, uh, to offensive point of view, to defensive point of view. I know people are, are mostly emphasizing on uh, that we have offensive, uh, no, but you have to have bear it in mind that uh, you have to have a balanced team uh, because there will be a game where the opponent will present you with a lot of challenges. And uh, what defines you now as a team is your capacity and your ability to be able to manage those difficult moments uh, the team is going through. So I think that is how I look at this. I wish them the very best of luck. I hope they can be in a position, you know, to put smiles in the face of Nigerians. But of course, we can't go to the AFCOM based on because we have good players. We have to be prepared from all aspects. Mm, okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to ask a very personal question. I, I hope that you would answer. Are you still open open to working with the national team? I don't want to talk about that. Uh, if you watch, uh, a lot of questions be raised. Uh, if I'm I'm interested to coach Nigeria, uh, but I think I don't want to talk about that. We have very important uh, tournament, uh, which is the Afcon. They have a coach there, of course. Uh, Nigeria is my country. Uh, when Nigerians feel and uh, I believe that uh, I can add value to, to the national team. Of course, it's a welcome. But I think for now, the important thing is let's focus on the team and uh, let's hope that uh, the team, you know, they can be in a position to, to put smile into the face of Nigerians.